What's going on YouTube? It's your boy living in London back again. You know the deal already. If you have any means of world, your boy. If you subscribe, comment, like, share. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell on the top right hand corner. So every time I release a video, you get a notification, I get a view. Share is caring, people, and it helps my channel grow. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Seriously, follow me on Instagram. It's living underscore in underscore LDN. We're at four and a half thousand nearly. So give me a boy a follow because if I don't post on YouTube every day, I'll definitely be on Instagram. And it's getting spicy in the comments, people. There's been loads and loads of comments lately. Get people going back and forth, arguing, just like linking up. It's been funny. So um, I've been enjoying the comments the last couple of days. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to be doing from now on is when I make a video like this Jordan McCann thing, I'll be going on Instagram about half hour afterwards. Maybe not on this video, but in the future videos. And we're going to be just talking about it. If I was right, if I was wrong, you can show love and support. Or if you're a troll, you can show hate and talk shit. Whatever your vibe is, jump on Instagram afterwards or maybe I'll do it on YouTube and we have a live and chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Now, I made this video yesterday, but I had to delete it. Huh? There was just a couple things in there I had to like, not say. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. So let's get into it again. Jordan McCann, come on, front of the class. We need you again. I know. Bring your ass here. I know. I know, I know. Come on. <sighs> so look, a quick one down on Jordan McCann, yeah? If you don't know who he is, yeah? He's a rapper from Manny. Gangster rapper, in and out of jail. He's done a freestyle in jail. Was he in jail when he done the freestyle? Yeah, I think he was. And it blew up. Yeah, and ever since then, he's been on top. Yeah, cool. So let's get into it. He says a lot of shit in his raps, you know? He talks a lot of greasy stuff. And Jordan McCann, my advice for, to you, yeah, would be, yeah, to open OnlyFans. Because there are so many guys that want to suck your dick out there. There are so many guys in these comments like, you don't know what you're talking about. You're walking a thin line. I'm going to get you. This is going to happen to you. You better shut your fucking mouth. You're a loser. You're nobody. Why are you talking about Jordan McCann? Oh my God. Jordan McCann, bruv. You have got a male groupie thing going on right now. These guys love you. Hmm? But anyway, let's see. So, so Jordan McCann, he's got a lot of energy. I, I, and listen, this is coming from a fan of Jordan McCann's. You know what I'm saying? I put bare people onto him. I feel his energy, yeah? So even though I'm saying some things that people may take offence to, this ain't a diss. This is just my opinion on things. And we can talk and have dialogue, people. Don't get all in your feelings like little bitches. Trying to manage your emotions a bit. All right, cool. Saying that, say this. Let's get into it. So Jordan McCann, first off, yeah, is mate or someone, yeah? There's people in the comments said it weren't him that said it. But it's fucking linked to him anyway, yeah? He says, if you're not prepared to do 30, don't jump in the whip. Meaning, if you're not prepared to do 30 years, don't jump in the car because we're looking to a fucking ride on man with doing things. Do you know what I'm saying? But Jordan McCann in 2015, I think it was, got caught with like a few bags of weed. And then they was going to send him to prison. So he got some little kid, bullied him and intimidated the little kid into trying to take the rap for him. And then they've seen what's going on. Seen like, um, who the guy, like, what's that Jordan's obviously bullied this guy to try and take the rap. And like, no, 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 you're getting your sentence, bro. So what's that about? Like, if you're not prepared to do 30, don't jump in the whip. He means if you're not prepared to do 30 months for him, if fucking they find his weed or something. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, me, I've never tried to get no one to take a charge for me. Um, if I'm guilty, I'm guilty sort of thing. If it was my fault, it was my fault. Yeah, if I didn't do it, I didn't do it sort of thing as well. But like... That's kind of not how he's talking in his raps. He's talking gangster, you know what I'm saying? And the reason why I'm going so hard on Jordan at the moment, the reason why I'm focusing on him so much, one, he's got a wide audience, and two, he's got a lot of young kids looking up to him. A lot of young kids, and it seems a lot of fucking grown men as well that idolise him. Mostly got posters on his wall of them and everything. Like, it's crazy, these guys, man. It's crazy what, how fans get attached to certain things and they ride for their fucking celebrity idol. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> it's crazy. But yeah, so another thing. The guy says he's from Manny. Now, I don't claim to know the geography about Manchester, Bolton. I don't know Liverpool. I don't know what's what. You know what I'm saying? I do support Man United. Ain't never been there, but I do fucking support him. Yeah? But a lot of people have been getting at me in the messages, been telling me that, yo, he's not even from Manchester. Yeah? He's not even one of the Salford boys like that. He's fucking a Bolton gang or something. He's even fucking got a Bolton season ticket for the fucking the football club. <laughs> I'm joking, I thought it myself, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, he's not even meant to be from where he's saying he is. Now, you guys can let me know in the comments. I'm sure you're going to, all you Jordan fanboys will let me know exactly where he's from, yeah? But that's just what I'm hearing, yeah? I'm hearing that all the stuff he raps about, the shootings and all the gang violence, well, he wasn't involved in it. 
he was almost just sitting back and like it was the others, like his brothers and all them that was doing it. And he's just rapping about it. Like I heard he weren't involved. Now people, you can let me know in the comments. And once we are finally do a live, you can tell me on the live as well. You know what I'm saying? If it's not today, it will be soon. But like, the way he's talking and the way people believe Jordan, yeah? Like he's influencing people to, to, to have that mentality. But does he even have it himself? Do you know what I'm saying? And these are the questions that I'd like to ask from a fan's point of view. A fan's point of view, people. It's only questions. Don't get too offended. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> what was the other thing? There was a few things. Oh my God, yes. G.A.V. A serious goon from Manchester, Moss side, yeah? You can tell he's put in bare work. He's got one eye. He kind of looks like Marv a bit, to be fair. Do you know what I'm saying? And he's saying what a lot of other people are saying. And he said this on an interview. I'll put it in the link in the description so you can watch the interview if you wish. Yeah, he's saying Jordan ain't from Manchester. Um, he's not one of the Salford boys that put in the work and um, he's lying. You know what I'm saying? He's not real. And that's not me saying that, people. That's me repeating what somebody else said. Do you know what I'm saying? From his city. And his name is G.A.V. I'll put his link, his Instagram link, so you can go and see um, who I'm talking about as well. Yeah, so they can see the interview and you can see his fucking Instagram. Because... I'm just reporting the facts, people. Or, or, or just the allegations, do you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if they're true or not. Hmm? And Jordan, if you have a problem with anything I say, you can reach out to me, my guy. Everyone else does. So you just don't feel like you can't reach out to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm approachable, whatever. Your producers reached out to me. A couple of your people have reached out to me. But reach out to me yourself, cuz. It's all love, you know what I'm saying? And tell me what you guys think in the comments. Because, like... When I done my first Jordan McCann video, oh my God, I wasn't expecting what I was getting. Like all that thing, that knocked me for six almost. All that fucking negativity, but now I got over it and that. What do you guys think about the fucking, um, what do you call it? About Jordan McCann getting his teeth knocked out by McDonald's security? Hmm? Because if you're a killer, if you're a gang member, you're not moving like that. You're just not going to be on the roads like that. No boys around you. You're gonna, not going to be out of your nut and all that kind of stuff. I said that in my previous video, but I'm going to reiterate it in this one. How he's moving is not how someone would move who he raps about. Do you know what I'm saying? And I know that from the life. And anyone from the life will tell you the same thing. And these are the things that stick in my mind. These are the things. And like, I don't understand why all you guys out there think that just because Jordan McCann spits some gangster shit, just because he talks this and he talks that, that he's not human, that he can't fucking, this can't be all too much for him, it could be overwhelming, all too much, and he can just fuck up, maybe he said a couple things, just gassed up, but now he has to stand on it, and some of them maybe was a bit of a lie, or weren't true, whatever, I don't know people, I'm not saying he weren't active, I'm not saying he weren't serious, but all I am saying, yeah, is something's not adding up. And I don't know what, but I'm just trying to figure it out. And as a fan, ain't that what we're meant to do? Do you know what I'm saying? And now let's get on to his mate who he loves so much. The guy that got 17 years. What did he get 17 years for, bruv? I'm hearing he got 17 years for shooting up a dustbin. What? Bruv, he's moving like the poo emoji. See this poo emoji, yeah? That's my teammates on Warzone, on Apex. Whatever game I play, they're shit. Bruv, they're hitting bins and that instead of fucking hitting the target. Do you know what I'm saying? And he got 17 years for it. That doesn't sound like a fucking gangster thing to you to do. Not to me anyway. What about to you guys? The shooting up a bin and getting 17, that seems like a waste of life. You know what I'm saying? Man should have just stayed home, watch fucking EastEnders and that. Netflix and chill, bun a zoo. What are you shooting bins for? We're getting 20 years. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he mostly went to do something else. Maybe he just went to just put a fucking bullet through the door, whatever. I don't know, people. But... When you're glamorizing these things and when you're like highlighting them so much, when you actually look at it a bit deeper, you see there's not even much to it in my eyes. I don't know. I'm just saying. Allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Like if you shoot up a bin, are you from Manny? Yes or no? Are you one of the Salford boys? See me, I don't know none of this shit, people. I, I know his brother was. Obviously, his brother got birded off. I hate his brother's got... To, Another room I'm hearing people, his brother doesn't even talk to him. Is that true? His older brother. Because of how he's representing it and how he's talking. And now, uh, if I keep hearing the same thing behind the scenes from so many different sources, 
Of course I'm gonna question it. I make reaction videos and that. Jordan's a popular guy. We all like him. But just because we all like him, we don't want to lick his ass and be like, oh, oh, oh. Do you know what I'm saying? And out to you people, listen, out to you people that think he's going to come to my ass, batter me, knock my teeth out, knock my dentures out, put him in his mouth, make a rap video. Bruv, the guy's a fat sniffhead. And that's what he is. I'm not saying he can't rap, but he's a fat sniffhead. Looks like he's fucking made out of marshmallows and he's the colour of a rice pudding. No one's scared of Jordan like that. Like, honestly, no one's scared of Jordan. I'm not no big hard gangster. I'm not even a gunman, I'm not nothing, I'm a YouTuber. But it's like, don't make a video about Jordan. That guy's serious, he done this five years ago. Bruv, like, I don't care in the nicest way. I really don't care, you know what I'm saying? So all you grown men out there threatening me online and telling me, your time's gonna come soon, six months, blah, blah, blah. you're just pussies. You're just straight up pussies that are scared to talk and give you a point of view and, and, see, and, and look at things for what they really are rather than what you think or they, what you want them to be. Do you know what I'm saying? Ah, <sighs> people, people, people. Celebrities. It's how we idolise and worship these people when we put them on pedestals like they can't do nothing wrong. This can be proper overwhelming to anyone. Imagine getting bare likes, bare views, bare money. Your whole life changes. But you've said a few things that weren't true. And it, like living a lie is long. Do you know what I'm saying? And just coming out of prison, PTSD, all the other stuff you've been doing for years and you don't have to do them no more. You're comfortable. But then you have to actually deal with all the trauma and all the bullshit you've done in the past. It's not over because you stopped putting in work. You know what I'm saying? So we've got to allow Jordan, yeah? We've got to allow ourselves, yeah? To not put Jordan on the pedestal because that can fuck him up even more. Like, he can't even make a mistake. We were not, we're not allowing him to make a mistake. No, 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 it's cool. He fucking was out of his nut arguing with McDonald's workers, getting his teeth smashed out. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's proper embarrassing, man. Like... All this stuff, his brother coming out saying this kind of type of stuff. Like, all this type of shit, yeah, it has an effect. So, if I say he's losing it, if I say he's told a lie, if I say this, I'm hearing things. It's just what I'm, my point of view. It doesn't mean it's true or not. I'm trying to get to the truth, people. So, try and go easy on your boy if you can, if you've got that in your heart. Anyway, people, it's your boy living in London. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. If I can go live on Instagram, I will, but my account's fucking restricted for some bullshit. I don't even know. I posted a video on carjacking and now it's fucking restricted. But tell me what you think of this video and um, I've got another video of you tomorrow. And we're going to be doing a lot of live streams on YouTube and Instagram as well. So going to be more interactive with you guys. Anyway, peace. I'll see you in a bit.